Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss an experiment from the material testing lab that is the bending test. So in this lecture we discuss about the aim of this experiment then the different apparatus and accessories used for this experiment and regarding some theory portions and also some calculations and observations and also discuss about the procedure behind this experiment. So actually what is the aim of this experiment to find the bending stress then Young's modulus of the metal of a beam which is simply support that ends and carry a constant load at the center means so very easily we can show you using a simply supported beam is provided here with the two supports are here and a point load is acting a w load is acting at the center and our intention is to find out when this w load is acting what about the bending stress and what about the Young's modulus of the particular material okay your case the number bending rate you see another timber on a use another other beam at act you know simply supported beam at act you know central load number provide a board at the total amount bending you at the ball and a bending stress some other ball and a Young's model is developing so for this experiment also we are using this UTM machine that is universal testing machine so in the first experiment in the tension test on mild steel we all we have seen this equipment and what's the purpose of this equipment okay then the steel rule and beam material then dial gauges and moving on to the theory or the principle behind this experiment that is a theory of simple bending which you have seen in the mechanics of solids so this equation bending equation very important equation that is m by i equal to sigma by y equal to e by r okay using these equations we are calculating the our final results okay so you can observe the diagram this is a diagram use or this utm for bending test okay then moving on to our procedure you'll get some more clarity regarding the experiment so this is our utm machine okay the first case in the tension test experiment we are using this this portion is used for this tension and uh, other purposes for the mild steel actually okay and uh, here this portion the below portion or the bottom portion which you are using for the timber or the bending test experiment okay so this is your utm machine then this is your right valve and the left valve and this right valve this inlet valve and this left valve actually this outlet valve using this valve we are providing or we are changing out the load variations actually this is the digital dial gauge so from this digital dial gauge you will get the deflection values in the barnier in yale ether tholam number eperna load go to combo was on a finally breakdown g on a j another up at the ether tholam on a breakdown chay the deflection are in the number dial gauge in the digital dial gauge in the calculator means i'm going to directly click to so this is the dial gauge i'm going to get the load guiding around over another provide in the in the car again on your dial gauge so this is our wooden beam used for this experiment wooden beam First of all, you have to take the each dimensions that means width, depth and length. So you have to mark it very clearly. Take the length. Then mark the center of that particular specimen or the particular timber beam. Then some of the arrangements used for this utm you can observe for doing this bending test we are arrange we are doing performing some of the arrangements so this will act as this providing will act as a load point load will act in this form okay this point load and two supports are here so such that it will act as a simply supported beam okay number here your portion like him number beam provide another is point load at act you know there and support side act in okay this is some levers some arrangements are providing here so different slots are there and for doing these experiments 
this arrangements to be provided properly okay then you place this wooden beam over this position fix it on the supports so the loads comes at the center that is the center portion where the real deal is the load where the real deal is the position the position then press down button and you can range indicating dial gauge okay okay so this shows the dial gauge should be arranged actually close to valves button to be on open slightly then this load is varying and you can observe the deflection to the corresponding we have a lot of different cases in the loads and that is the corresponding deflection developed okay the observation table like we have a little clarity how much load we have to take and how much load we have to take and how much load we have to take and that is clearly we have to obtain this take readings at 0.5 kN intervals on dial and a note down corresponding deflection on digital dial gauge in mm so we have clear that we have to say half kN we have to say how much deflection is being developed if we have to say how much deflection is being developed that is the note down okay then find the load in the stage the maximum load in the stage the load in the stage is dummy Pointer awal tetenya stick on sih, saya value note down sih ga. To petanda ni perai itu fracture yang garing lagi memberi. Apo le teri ana failure load, aduh. I black indicator, okay. Pointer macam tu, nama kita identify yang sah dikit. A load le teri ana note down sih ga. Then using those loads as fuel, calculate the final results. Ini maximum load is indicated by the dummy pointer right near it, okay. So that is regarding the experiment. Then this is regarding the observation and calculation. So already mentioned different values means नम्बर ओरो लोड के हिसाब आये तो first initially इप्पर point five kilonewton नत्रे आना deflection नत्रे values यूट then one kilonewton आऊँगा some values you will obtain. You have to plot up to five if you take this way it comes to five kilonewton and the deflection values also to be not down. Next moving on to the calculation part you can observe that this timber in this way isn't it? B by D, we already calculated the breadth of the and depth of the and the length of the and the values we have calculated. We have to clear that the moment of inertia is going to be BD cube by 12. Okay, for a rectangular section. And using this bending moment equation, we are finding out these values. M by I equal to F by Y. So, so let us take this section that is M equal to I by Y multiplied by f this f means the bending stress and if you take this y max it is going to be z that is section modulus it is going to be z into f so if you consider this y max it is going to be d by 2 and the z value it is going to be if you calculate that is i by y max if you substitute those values you will get bd square by 6 and then you have to substitute those values as bd square by 6 here okay then you already know that the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam if a point load is acting what is the maximum value it is going to be if w is the load wl by 4 so you can write down the equation this way m by z bending stress equal to m by z and again you can write down as wl by 4 by z so in this case it is write down as p okay so actually what is p means here two cases are here fiber stress at limit of proportionality and modulus of rupture so actually means this p indicates namakariya dummy pointer or value like the r value on a maximum load a maximum load in the value are you can only you better substitute in the secondly you better the failure on the air can the value on the our value are you can only a load value are you can only better substitute so you'll get two values as corresponding it okay so using this bending equation we are finding out these values then moving on to the next case that is the modulus of elasticity values so there is another equation wl cube by 48 ei okay so i will explain that equation that is delta equal to wl cube 
48 by 48A. Means, we have a simply supported beam considered to point load up. We have a bending and deflection. That is why we represent delta. So, using some equations, actually, this is a derivation equation. The derivation is equation. Using Meclos method, then moment area method, and different double integration method, and then the methods so, derive the equation. If so, you simply support the beam, point out apply you the deflection equation W L Q by 48 EI. So this is the delta equations. So our aim is to calculate this Young's model. So you can write down this equation in this way: W L cube divided by 48 delta i and you know this l value you know i value also you know and our aim is to calculate this w delta so you have to draw a graph w and delta and take the graph in this way and take the slope from this graph and substitute those values and you will get the Young's modulus value also so this is the procedure or this is the calculation part regarding to find out the modulus of rupture value means the bending strength that is the flexural strength that you want R value and modulus of rupture on to this then Young's modulus and modulus of elasticity value. These two values you can easily calculate using this bending moment equations. Okay, and I hope the section clear and with this we wind up today's section. Thank you.